Hello and welcome to this channel. My name is Jesper and in this video I'm going to talk about hypophosphatemic rickets. This is not to be confused with regular rickets, which is usually caused by a lack of vitamin D. If you're interested in that topic, then I have made a video on rickets as well and you can check that out if you want. The link to that video should be appearing somewhere on the screen right now. Let's get back into the video where we will discuss about hypophosphatemic rickets. This is a disease which previously was called vitamin D resistant rickets. And the reason for this is because the usual treatment of rickets, which is supplementation of vitamin D and calcium, is not really effective in the treatment for hypophosphatemic rickets. It results in improper integrity of the bones and this leads to easily bending or breaking of the bones, bowing of the legs and improper development of the bones. Also it may cause bone and joint pain. A key point to remember is that it is due to low levels of phosphate in the blood rather than due to low levels of vitamin D. It is generally considered to be genetically inherited and most often it is inherited in an X-linked dominant matter. It may also be inherited in other ways. An example of that is a subversion called dent disease, and this is inherited in an X-linked recessive manner. The symptoms usually begins manifesting early in childhood. However, the age may vary, especially this is the case for certain inheritance patterns of the disease. An example is autosomal dominant hypophosphatemic rickets, where the age of diagnosis is very variable due to incomplete penetrance of the disease. However, as we said earlier, most cases is X-linked and then the children present with the disease generally at a young age. Let's talk closer about potential symptoms of hypophosphatemic rickets. This is often a painful disease and frequently bone pain as well as joint pain is reported. The sensation can be aching, throbbing or vague. Also developmental delays, especially of the lower limbs, can often be seen. It can result in an abnormally low stature compared to what is normal for the age of the patient. The legs might be bowing, which means they have an abnormal curvature. Delayed motor neuron development and an abnormal gait can also be a manifestation of the disease. Also important to mention is that some of the children may have premature fusion of the skull bones. This is also referred to as craniosynostosis. Lastly, let's mention that dental problems such as a dental abscesses or abnormal teeth formation has been more frequently reported in patients with hypophosphatemic rickets. Alright, so now let's mention one high yield point from the pathophysiological aspect of the disease. Normally, our kidneys excrete a lot of phosphate in the urine, but then they reabsorb it back into the blood via the tubules. However, in hypophosphatemic rickets, patients, the kidneys do not reabsorb the phosphate sufficiently back into the blood. Let's mention how hypophosphatemic rickets is diagnosed. In a blood test, we will see low levels of phosphate. The reason is, as we mentioned, that a lot of phosphate is excreted in the urine by the kidneys. Hence, if we check the urine for phosphate levels, it will be high. Also in blood samples, frequently alkaline phosphatase levels will be high. Lastly, let's talk about the treatment. First-line therapy is with phosphate supplementation. In children, the dosing is 10 mg per kilogram four times a day or sometimes even more. Also oral vitamin D is given in the form of calcitriol which is the active form of vitamin D. A relatively new drug known as berusumab or burusumab which is a monoclonal immunoglobulin is now FDA approved and this is used in the treatment for X-linked hypophosphatemia. At least in the United States, it is currently being used as a treatment choice for X-linked hypophosphatemia. That was it for this video. Thank you for watching. We really appreciate it. And if you find these videos helpful and you want to watch more videos when they come out, then press the subscribe button. Thank you.